obstacles and fewer imaginary ones. Do you know that 90% of what we worry about doesn't happen anyway? Insurance companies know that. That's why they're so wealthy. <laughs> We're insured for falling arches and rising arches, open eyelids and shut eyelids, growling stomachs and silent stomachs. You never know. You might as well worry about them. You see, I was one of those people who lived prophylactically, insanely, and sensibly, hour after hour and day after day. Oh, that doesn't mean I didn't have my moments. But if I had it all over to do, I'd have more of those moments. In fact, I'd try to have nothing but wonderful moments side by side. Living the now, not missing the now. Because that's what life really is, a wonderful series of nows. Not tomorrows, they may never come. Not yesterdays, they've been and there's nothing you can do about it. So you made a mistake, so tough. But there's now. Don't miss it. Everything else is illusion, except what's happening between you and me right at this moment. Don't you know? I've been one of those people who never went anywhere without a thermometer, a hot water bottle, a gargle, a raincoat, and a parachute. <laughs> if I had it to do all over again, I'd travel lighter next time. You know, Buddha once said something that really moved me when I first heard it, and it's made a difference in my life. He says, when you have nothing, you have nothing to worry about. Oh, we think, isn't that marvelous wisdom? And then we collect, and we collect, and we collect. And we build, build a b bigger burglar alarms, and we worry more about leaving the house, and we buy bigger cars, and we're afraid to have them dented. If you have an old junk, you say, run into me, sister. Brother, try bashing me in the back, see if I care. You know, my God, someone put a scratch in the fender. If you have nothing, you have nothing to worry about. I'm not advocating having nothing, but I'm also not advocating being professional collectors. You know, some of us have never thrown away anything in our lifetime. Our closets are full of things we'll never use. We have beautiful china, but we never use it. Well, they're gonna chip it. <laughs> you know, just once, take one and go, gong! <laughs> Show them who's boss! That was 38.50, Buster. <laughs> but it was just a thing. If I had my life to live over again, I'd start barefoot earlier in the spring, and I'd stay that way later in the fall. I'd play hooky a lot more. Don't you know that morning when you say, oh, I mean, I mean. <laughs> The one morning that you say, I'm going to do it. I'd ride more merry-go-rounds. I'd smell more flowers. I'd hug more children. I'd tell more people that I love them. <laughs>